Standing here in the English countryside, it may not seem obvious, but we are facing a man-made disaster on a global scale. In the 20 years since I first started talking about the impact of climate change on our world, conditions have changed far faster than I ever imagined. Before we started to burn coal, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was about 280 parts per million. It's now over 400 parts per million. And the planet gets warmer and warmer. We are seeing the impacts of climate change now play out in real time. They're no longer subtle. We're not just talking about an inconvenience. We're pe talking about people's lives, their livelihoods, and their communities being damaged. Join the dots. It's happening. It's happening in your world. It's happening in my world. And let's be very clear about this. It is going to get much worse. It may sound frightening, but the scientific evidence is that if we have not taken dramatic action within the next decade, we could face irreversible damage to the natural world and the collapse of our societies. There are thousands of scientists around the world in almost every single country working to understand what will happen in the future if we don't act, and we don't do more. They predict that if we carry on as we are now, where CO2 continues to increase, we would hit one and a half degrees global warming by between 2040 and 2050. We're on course to go through 1.5 degrees in just a few decades' time, and the models differ slightly as to exactly when. And not long after that, we're on a trajectory to go through two degrees. It really becomes difficult to see at such levels of warming how we're going to maintain our agriculture such that the population of the world can actually feed itself. And ensuring people have access to clean, safe drinking water will become much more difficult. Developing countries that are at the front line of this battle. Those parts of the globe which will suffer the most and the soonest are not those parts of the globe which have actually loaded all those carbon dioxides in the atmosphere in the first instance. But you have to understand this is also a crisis for the world. The fact is that if the poor are suffering today, then the rich will also suffer tomorrow. We're running out of time, but there is still hope. It's actually not that complicated. We need to shift our energy system away from fossil fuels that produce greenhouse gases and, and towards renewable energies that don't. We still have time to turn everything around, to, to pull the emergency brake and to take action. But that short period of time isn't going to last for long. There's a message for all of us in the voices of these young people. It is, after all, their generation who will inherit this dangerous legacy. We now stand at a unique point in our planet's history, one where we must all share responsibility, both for our present well-being and for the future of life on Earth. <laughs>